Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing another makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be doing this look right here. This is my fourth episode of RuPaul's Drag Race series. I know I missed last week's episode, but it's because I did do my spring um, makeup tutorial. So today I'm going to be doing this look. Um, I did pick Michelle Visage this week. Um, I liked her look because she had like a very dramatic black cut crease. I know I've done a couple of cut creases on my channel, but I wanted to do this one because I usually just put white in my lid when I do a cut crease and she had like neon colors. Um, I have orange, pink, yellow and a, like a lime green and I love this look because she did have green um, glitter on top um, and she had like pink lips. Um, I did not color my hair if you guys are wondering. Um, this is a wig. I just wanted to put a wig because I just got this wig. I bought it on Amazon. And I love it so much. I wish I could dye my hair. But I'm scared to dye my hair because, let's be real, ain't nobody want that damage. So I just bought a wig and I pretty much love it. It's a lace front wig. Um, so, so it could look a little bit more natural. So, so yeah, if you guys want to see how I create this look, please keep on watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And leave me comments down below on what you guys want to see next. Bye, guys. As always, we're going to start by applying our primer. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Original. And this is going to help to prevent all the eyeshadows from creasing. And then I'm going to be applying a little bit of translucent powder because I do like to set all my primers because I have very oily lids. And then I'm going to be going into my Too Faced chocolate bar and grabbing that brown I pointed at. And I'm going to be grabbing it with an angled brush. And with that, I'm just going to be mapping out where I want my new crease. And then I'm going to change my brush to a pencil brush and grab a little bit of more of that color and just blend that line out just diffuse it but go upwards do not go to your lid because you are going to be putting a different color on your lid then I'm going to be going back into my Too Faced chocolate bar palette and grabbing that darker brown and doing the same thing and outlining my new crease with that darker brown. And then I'm going to be going back into that pencil brush and grabbing the first shade I grabbed and blend the edges out and do it in an upward motion. Do not come down onto your lid because again we are going to be using a different color on the lid. When you're trying to do a cut crease, um, when you're blending out with a pencil brush, you want to take your time and blend that line out really good because you want to make you want to make it look soft. And now I'm going to be grabbing a clean Morphe M513 brush and just blend everything out on the edges so it could look a little bit more diffused. And then I'm going to be going into this Morphe 12P palette and grabbing the black in there and just outlining my new crease again. And then I'm just going to be going back to that pencil brush and grabbing the brown I grabbed at the, at the beginning and blending it out. Again, when using black, you have to be very careful when you're blending out black because black gets messy really, 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 really fast. And it could turn gray or you could just look like you have a black eye. So just take your time when blending this out. Just use windshield wiper motions and circular motions and blend, blend upwards. Then I'm just going to be grabbing that clean Morphe M513 brush and just blend the edges out just to make everything look a little bit more soft. Then I'm going to be grabbing this LA Girl Cosmetic Pro Primer in the shade White and I'm going to be cleaning my new crease up and then just prime my whole layer with this because I am going to be going in with neon colors and I want them to pop a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
Then going into my Morphe 12P palette, I'm going to be grabbing that orange shade and packing this on the outer edge of my eye and just diffusing the edges because I am going to be going with more colors. Then going back into my Morphe 12P palette, I'm going to be grabbing that pink shade I pointed at and I'm going to be putting this on top of the orange I did at the beginning and just blend the edges out and blending that pink into the orange so it could look like an ombre effect. Then going back into that same palette and grabbing the yellow and the lime green color and putting them together and putting this in the inner corners of my eyelids. This is going to have like an ombre effect like you're going to see green but you are going to see a little hint of, of yellow on top. Then I'm going to be using this glitter and apply it to my lids. Um, I'm just going to be doing section by section. I put a little bit of um, dual eyelash glue and then I, I pack on the glitter because my eyes do have like little creases and if I put like glue all over my lid the glitter will settle in in those creases and then it feels very uncomfortable. Then I'm going to be doing my wing eyeliner and connect my cut crease to my eyeliner and for that I'm going to be using my NYC liquid liner. Going back into my Too Faced chocolate bar and grabbing that bone shade and this is going to act as my brow highlight but this will also help that black shade look a little bit more diffused. I'm going to be using this Milani Cosmetics foundation. It's the Conceal and Perfect foundation. This is a full coverage foundation. Um, I've been loving this foundation lately but it does have like a really bad smell. I'm not a fan of the fragrance it has. But it works amazing. Um, if I was you, I would look for a shade lighter than my actual skin tone. Because this foundation does oxidize a little bit. For concealer, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Primer in the shade Pure Beige. And apply this under my eyes, um, on my nose, and on my chin. As always, I don't apply it on my forehead because I have very pronounced expression lines on my forehead. And if I put more product than my foundation, it will settle into those expression lines. And to set my under eye area and on my face, I'm going to be using my Airspun Translucent Powder as always. <music> to bronze my face, I'm going to be using the City Color Cosmetics Beat Matte Blush in the shade Toast Coconut. To give my contour a little bit more definition, I'm going to be grabbing this Too Faced bronzer in a shade chocolate and just apply this on the hollows of my cheeks and on my temples. And then I'm just going to be cleaning up my contour with my Airspun Translucent Powder. For blush today, I'm going to be using the City Color Cosmetics Beat Matte Blush in the shade Fresh Melon. For highlight today, I'm going to be grabbing my Anastasia Glow Kit and grab the shade Bubbly and just apply this on tops of my cheekbones and I'm using my Morphe M501 to apply it. And then just grab a damp beauty sponge and blend that highlight into your skin. Going into my Makeup Forever Artist 2 palette, I'm going to be grabbing that purple I pointed at. I'm going to grab this purple first because this purple does have a little bit of shimmer on it. And then I'm going to be going back into my Morphe 12P palette and grabbing that matte purple in there and put it on top. Um, I put the shimmer 
purple in the bottom first because it's going to help me with the process of blending out a matte purple for it won't look messy under my lower lash line. To knock off all the air spun and to brighten up under my eyes, I'm going to be going into my Kat Von D Shed and Light Contra Palette and grabbing the shade Banana. To knock off all the air spun off my face, I'm going to be using this BH Cosmetics Powder Foundation in the shade 235. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate and outline my brows with this pencil. And then I'm going to be using my Anastasia Dual Powder in the shade Chocolate and fill in the gap. To align my lips, I'm going to be using this Italian Lip Liner in the shade Spice. And then I'm going to be going in with a Jordana Matte Lipstick. I forgot the name, but I will link it down below in the description box. And then on top of the lipstick, I'm going to be using a Stila Pencil Lip Gloss in the shade Amaretto. And to set my face and to take off all that powdery look, I'm going to be using my Mario Badescu Rose Water. Well guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And leave me comments down below on what you guys want to see next. Also, and always, all the products used and mentioned during this video will be down in the description box. Also, as on my social media, so you guys can follow me there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I could dye my hair, but I'm scared to dye my hair because, let's be real, ain't nobody want that damage. So, I just bought a wig, and I pretty much love it. It's a lace front wig, um, so... So it could look a little bit more natural. So, so yeah, if you guys want to see how I create this look, please keep on watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And leave me comments down below on what you guys want to see next. Bye, guys. As always, we're going to start by applying our primer. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Original. And this is going to help. To prevent all the eyeshadows from creasing and then i'm going to be applying a little bit i did do my spring um, makeup tutorial so today i'm going to be doing this look um i did pick michelle visage this week um i liked her look because she had like a very dramatic black cut crease i know i've done a couple of cut creases on my channel but i wanted to do this one because i usually just put white in my lid when I do a cut crease and she had like neon colors um I have orange pink yellow and a, like a lime green and I love this look because she did have green um glitter on top um and she had like pink lips um I did not color my hair if you guys are wondering um this is a wig I just wanted to put a wig because I just got this wig I bought it on Amazon and I love it so much I wish Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing another makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be doing this look right here. This is my fourth episode of RuPaul's Drag Race series. I know I missed last week's episode, but it's because... The translucent powder, because I do like to set all my primers because I have very oily lids. 
Then I'm going to be going into my Too Faced chocolate bar and grabbing that brown I pointed at. And I'm going to be grabbing it with an angled brush. And with that, I'm just going to be mapping out where I want my new crease. And then I'm going to change my brush to a pencil brush and grab a little bit of more of that color. And just blend that line out. Just diffuse it. But go upwards. Do not go to your lid because you are going to be putting a different color on your lid. Then I'm going to be going back into my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and grabbing a darker brown and doing the same thing and outlining my new crease with that darker brown. And then I'm going to be going back into that pencil brush and grabbing the first shade I grabbed and blend the edges out and do it in an upwards motion. Do not come down onto your lid because again we are going to be using a different color on the lid. When you're trying to do a cut crease, um, when you're blending out with a pencil brush, you want to take your time and blend that line out really good because you want to make you want to make it look soft. And now I'm going to be grabbing a clean Morphe M513 brush and just blend everything out on the edges so it could look a little bit more diffused. And then 